Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess, confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was in the, the beginning, is now, and, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. 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 Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives unto God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. 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 The Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangle me, the grip of the grave took hold of me, I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you, save my life. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his servants. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me. From my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem, hallelujah. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the, the Son, and to, and to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Acts. Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified many other things, and exhorted them, saying, Save yourself from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Many and great, O God, are thy works, maker of earth and sky. Many and great, O God, are thy works, maker of earth and sky. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Many and great, O God, are thy works, maker of earth and sky. Many and great, O God, are thy works, Maker of earth and sky. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Many and great, O oh God, are thy works, maker of earth and sky. Many and great, O oh God, are thy works, maker of earth and sky. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be, be forever. forever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Now on that same day, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, and talking with each other as they traveled about all the things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, what are you discussing with each other while you walk along? They stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem 
who does not know the things that have happened, taken place there in these days? He asked them, What things? They replied, The things about Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, besides all this, it is now the third day since these things took place. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women said, but they did not see him. Then he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, and how slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have declared. Was it not necessary that the Messiah should suffer these things and then enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted them the things about himself in all the scriptures. As they came near the village to which they were going, he walked ahead as if he were going on. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, because it is almost evening and the day is now nearly over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took bread blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he talked on the road? While he was opening scripture to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how he had been made known to them with the breaking of the bread. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, Lord who, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health 
among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, whose blessed Son made himself known to his disciples in the breaking of bread, open the eyes of our faith that we may behold him in all his redeeming work, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. O God, you make us glad with the weekly remembrance of the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Lord. Give us this day such blessing through our worship of you, that the week to come may be spent in your favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. In this time and in this space, you are invited to share the prayers and concerns of your heart, either silently or aloud. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, Mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for, for all, all that you have done for us. We, we thank, thank you for the splendor of the whole creation, for the, for the beauty of this world, for the, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word, and the example, example of his life, for his steadfast obedience by which he overcame temptation, for his dying through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life again, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit that we may know him and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Almighty God, you, you have given, given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us. Granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.